Hello Sagittarians and welcome to your November 2021 general reading. So, a bit of a different format than usual. Normally I record weekly readings that include all star signs in one reading. I thought for November um, I should do something different, which is what I did. <laughs> which means I recorded 12 videos for each star sign individually because it allows me um, to <clears throat> go a little deeper and um, make longer sections for each star sign, if that makes sense. Um, and I already said that on my uh, channel that I will go back to um, the regular weekly readings or weekly reading format come December. Um, but everything is in the open. If people, should people tell me, uh, you know, uh, or if a majority of people uh, would tell me that they prefer this format, then I will find a way to actually make this format because as far as I'm concerned, I work for Spirit and this is a free service and whatever the majority of people wants, whatever helps them more, that's what I will do. So here today, we're gonna do a couple of things. Um, we're going to divide the, the, the reading into um, areas. Firstly, we do what we always do, which means we're looking at the overall energy um, for the month. So see what the guys have to tell you to uh, look out for um, or to look at in November. And then we go into emotions, which could be emotions that are sitting inside you that still need to go or maybe there's love coming in so we'll, we'll look at that before we then go into opportunities slash work um, so that's all geared at um, what sustains you financially and what can be done there what needs to be looked at kind of there right so that's the plan are you ready Sagittarians all right then so Let's start with looking at the energy for the month of November 2021. And please remember that November, by default, is the 11th month. And the 11th month has the number 11. And 11 is a master number. And of all the master numbers there are, 11 is the strongest. Master numbers are usually double digit numbers, the same double digit numbers, does that make sense? You're right, Richard. Mm -hmm. So what that means is if, if there is um, a master number involved in a month, um, then whatever the guides are, are bringing up here um, is amplified by just the energy of the number 11. Okay, so here's what we got for, right, for Sagittarians. You have the white tail deer, the polar bear and the groundhog. Now, the one in the middle, which is in your case the polar bear, is the one we pay the most attention to. So we have an incoming energy, then we have an energy that ought to be really looked at, and then we have an outgoing energy for the months of November 2021. The incoming energy is the white-tailed deer. What the guides are saying to you in November, overall, it is important to be calm. The calmer you are in November, the less stress will find you in November, the better your life works. It feels that you need a break, which is actually here in the form of the polar bear. Well, all bears actually stand for deep healing. And the polar bear of all bears that there are here on this beautiful planet of ours, um, the polar bear is the most vulnerable. Okay, so therefore what they're saying is be calm because there's healing needed for you. Really, really important. Healing is really, really important to you. And the reason why you are asked to be calm about things is because you are already vulnerable, if that makes sense. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you know, some of you will have a birthday in November. <laughs> so I feel, since you have a birthday in the 11th month, um, so obviously you're Sagittarius, so this will be around that time. <coughs> um, everything here will be 
will be more important for you to really understand. And your middle animal guide is the polar bear. And the polar bear is saying to you, you're already vulnerable. Do you really want to just keep going fast and furious? Does it make sense? Therefore, please listen to the incoming energy, which is basically saying to you the way to go for you this month, Sagittarians, is literally by going probably half the speed, right? Just be calm. Interestingly enough, your outgoing energy for November is the groundhog. And obviously, you have, or oh, most of us probably have seen the Groundhog Day movie kind of stuff, because that's the energy I'm getting. Um, it's about repetition. In the life of a real Groundhog, um, sometimes without the need for one, there is a lot of den building. And it doesn't always make sense. It becomes a bit, it feels a bit compulsory just to have a den, which means you want to really be in charge. You want to be in control. You want to be able to plan. <laughs> and um, ultimately, it isn't helpful. It is not helpful to think, um, okay, let me just go see where I'm going here and going there. Planning at this point in time for Sagittarians is not the best thing to do. The best thing to do, apparently, is for you to be calm and be in the now because the now in the now it is what is needed for you is to recharge your battery so please don't take this don't take this lightly um <clears throat> what the guys have to say here and don't think you you you're missing anything just because you're supposed to relax just relax okay so that is the overall energy for the months of november for sagittarians <clears throat> you are watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And now we're having a look at your emotional life uh, or your emotions. Let's see what's coming up and let's see what's, what's happening. Whoa. What I mean by wow is that um, the guides give me tons of, of, of um, animal guides um, to talk about. So you have the coyote, the wood duck, the jaguar and the lynx. So what that means is, with regards to your emotions, the first thing you need to learn or maybe remind yourself of, Sagittarians, is that you are enough and that you are good enough. The coyote is a scavenger, which means he knows at some stage I'm going to find enough food for me and my folks, <laughs> right? And so therefore, <clears throat> there is the tendency to just keep grazing, keep looking um, and having faith, having trust that something is coming. <coughs> While this is obviously animal language here, what the guides are saying, you will be sustained. That's not even the question, right? Once you doubt it, that's when you lose sight of what's going on. And they're asking you to not lose sight of anything because you will be looked after. But it starts with you realizing, I am enough. I am enough. Because you have the wood duck next. And the duck, <coughs> the wood duck, I think we had a, a duck before, I'm not sure. Because I'm recording um, different star signs all in one go, so I can't sometimes remember um, for, for what star sign and, and what area um, there was a duck, but we had one not too long ago. Anyway, the wood duck is the animal that basically tells you that um, you need to be patient and that whatever is coming next in your life hasn't fully formed yet. That's the way I get this. Um, what is important for you to, um, okay, this is really interesting because I'm getting the, <laughs> the energy of aging, which means this is not just for your young folks who are, who are wanting to know about relationships. This is also about more mature people, which is not a word I, can't pronou I can pronounce easily. Mature, M-A-T-U-R-E, right? Mature, <laughs> right? <laughs> You have the element of not thinking 
that that's that. You never know what's happening. My feeling is that for some of you in your in your golden years, whatever fuck that means, but um, <laughs> there might actually be love coming your way. Don't send it away. Don't think like been there, done that. Screw you, because apparently it is valuable for you to to have um, relationships that are deep. And that might even be intimate, if that makes sense, if you so chose. Because your next animal guide is the jaguar. And the jaguar is saying, right, you have unique dots. No other jaguar is you. And no other, other jaguar looks like you. So why are you not showing your true self? You know, warts and all, as they say. Right? Make sure you're not hiding. You're not... Um, hmm... My feeling is that, that in order to not burden people, you say, I'm fine, when you're actually not. Um, and the jaguar is not an animal that plays dead to, to mimic or overplay stuff kind of thing. It is not in the nature of uh, a jaguar to um, go into victim mode, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so what they're saying to you is you're not a victim here. You have you are very unique. It's just it's just important for you to to highlight to yourself and therefore then to others how unique you are. Ultimately, the way to achieve this all all of this is you have the links as your outgoing energy for the area of emotional life, emotional core. And I do get the feeling that this is about love and maybe about giving it another go, <laughs> right? Or at least, and this sounds so weird, but this is just the way, exactly the way I'm getting it from my guides, is to dream about it, right? They're giving me the imagery of Jack Nicholson. <laughs> and I remember, which is why they're giving it to me, sorry, my leg is falling asleep. <laughs> I saw him in a video or in, a, in, in an interview, or maybe I read it, don't know, doesn't really matter. Point is, they interviewed him when he was 74, something like this, and they asked him, oh, so you know, now you're retiring from, um, from acting. And he said, yeah, I have achieved you know, anything there is to achieve. And then they asked him about his personal life. And he basically said that what is missing in his life is a beautiful lady to share life with. Now, that's what the guides give me. They, they work with what is in my mind. So what that means is, and it's not, it, it's not about feeling sorry for Jack Nicholson <laughs> or saying like, that's interesting, but I'm not bloody Jack Nicholson, am I? This is about, because the lynx is an animal that looks for a vantage point. So if you are a person that says, or that really feels, you know, I, I, I've had a great life, but wouldn't it be awesome if I could spend my remaining years with someone else? And if you're not that yet, not that old yet, if that makes sense, if you kind of think, you know, why are you talking to me about this? I'm not in my mid-70s, which is the, the age group I'm getting for this conversation here. This really is still about assessing what you really would like and love in life. And you first need to realize in order for... To, for, for for you to manifest this is that when you truly love yourself that's when you manifest people who want to love you exactly the way you are so there is some work that needs to be done here with regards to your self-esteem right um so that's the area of uh, love and finally we're going into the area of opportunities let's see what we got for you here well i don't know if you can see it but you have the cow the monkey and the bear the monkey is in the middle and what that really means is because you have the bear the monkey and the, and the cow basically the one in the middle you pay the most attention to with regards to opportunities um what sustains you financially what what needs to be looked at here is what needs to be looked at. Number one, you have the bear. Again, you have a bear. And the bear is saying to you, with regards to anything that has to do with how you live your life and what pays your bills, 
even in this area, you feel or you may actually have lost some real strengths in the area you are operating in. So, or, or if that makes more sense to you, you feel vulnerable even in an area that you know inside and out. And what is important to realize that vulnerability is not a bad state. It just is a state. And being able to be vulnerable and allowing yourself to be vulnerable allows you to realize what's causing this, right? Am I looking after myself right here, right? Um, is this fulfilling to me, that kind of stuff? <clears throat> because the vulnerability shouldn't be there, if that makes sense. But this point is uh, hitting yourself over the head about it. <coughs> Which is why we're talking about the one in the middle, so to speak. Um, more in-depth, which is your monkey. And there's a couple of things about the monkey. Now, number one, the monkey is obviously an animal whose agility is legendary. <laughs> right? <clears throat> so what the guides are saying is, you got a lot of life left in you, and you can still swing everywhere and do your stuff. Right? So um, you're not at the end of your tether, if that makes sense. There's a lot of stuff um, going 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 around right energetically speaking a lot of strengths because the monkey is also about courage but the monkey also is the is the animal in a way before the ape now the family of apes is us right so it's the it's the orangutan the gorilla um the, the humans and um, the bonobos and the chimpanzees, that's, that, is a, the, uh, that is the family of apes. There's also um, uh, certain types of gibbons who are part of the um, ape family, but they call them lesser apes because they have a tail, while the, the, the apes have no tail, if that makes sense. The monkey is literally, when it, when it comes to classification, right, because we are all great no matter what we are, right? This is not judgment. Don't hear this wrong. But the monkey comes before the ape. Therefore, with regards to the field you're operating in, it makes sense to stick with it because there are, there, there are still areas that you haven't yet explored, right? And here's what the outgoing energy tells us about that area with regards to opportunities, what you ought to look at when it comes to opportunities. See, at this point in time, I don't get a change in job is the answer. I don't get this. What I'm getting is, is to say, I demand to be treated differently because the outgoing energy is the cow. And the cow is what we call the Übermother. Um, a very gentle, very wise, and, and also, in many parts of the world, quite a revered um, sentient being. And so, it is about you speaking up and saying to people, I will not be treated that way. The line will be drawn here. That's how I hear it. That's how I, I see it. That's what the guides give me. <coughs> so, I personally don't see um, you changing jobs makes all this go away but then again you have free will you do what you need um you know and that's all i got okie dokie that was your november 2021 general reading i hope i see you all very soon bye, -bye.